Hello, good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time it is and whatever time zone you are in currently while watching this. It's morning for me, so I'm gonna say morning. Cheers, cheers. Yo, so we are starting a brand new series and this will be the first episode. The series is called Meme Masterclass 101, where we are just having fun with some memes. Shall we get started? All right. These memes I just find randomly, whether it's Instagram, Reddit, and let's just dive into them. When you're riding your bike in the shower while playing guitar and you hear a noise. Oh, I fucking hate when that happens. Isn't that the worst? Like I was just trying to practice my bike riding skills, learn a couple of frets on the guitar and get clean at the same time. Luckily I had my Glock on me like, geez. The longer you look at this photo, the weirder it gets. This man got a toaster oven. Is that a, what is that? Xbox 360, flat screen, and a Christmas tree? Bro, it's way too early for a Christmas tree, I. What if it's just Santa Claus coming to give him gifts? Don't block your own blessings, guys. Okay, yeah, enough of that. My, my brain hurts looking at that. <clears throat> SpongeBob, me boy. You won't last five minutes playing this game. I came three times. Yo, Mr. Krabs, send that link. I know Mr. Krabs is known for being greedy, but Come on, bro. It ain't no fun unless the homies get some. If he has any of these in his room, then you just know. You just know. It's a fact. It's proven. Scientifically proven that the dick will be fired. I'm sorry to disappoint, ladies, but I guess we know what's going down in my place because I don't got either of those. I gotta make some investments, obviously. They really called this a comforter. A comforter. A comforter. A comforter. A comforter. 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 I mean, it kind of makes sense. Like, we all fart. And we all come. And a lot of those happen while. I'm under the sheets. Come farter, you have it there, folks. You heard it here first. Genius. Genius. What? Why did I think of that? Wow. I know how it feels, bro. Take a moment of silence for these guys. I can't fucking wait to bust you for weed. Oh, geez. Well, if this isn't how I felt all throughout high school growing up in Utah, I swear they were just, any instance where they could pull you over, they would. If you're a teenager, they would just pull you over because the likelihood of you having something or doing something illegal the probability is higher, I guess. So they were just always on your ass. And being a pothead throughout high school in an illegal state is pretty damn tricky. Like, it'd be normal just to get pulled over by the canine units. Like, no cap. So I relate to this more than ever. I can't wait. You think he loves that baby? He doesn't love that baby. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's head over to Reddit for the last couple. When you wake up and realize you have to do this for the next 40 years. No, 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 no. I refuse. Literally, I'm 25 now. Obviously I've been working a nine to five since I was like 15, 16, mainly retail, but this is why I go so hard on my passions and my hobbies for they don't remain hobbies and I can turn them into a financial success and make them my full-time job. That's why I go hard on YouTube 
dancing, whatever it is I'm passionate about. You got to keep working even when you're done working. And what I mean by that is when you're done your nine to five, now is, is the time to put in work for what it is you want to do in life. Because if not, you may be stuck at that nine to five for the rest of your life. And I can talk for myself. If I have to work a nine to five forever, end it now because I'm telling you, it's, you know, I'm not even worried. I promise it's not going to happen and you guys will see the rise. This is only the beginning. Thank you for being here now. But yes, I feel you, bro. I feel you, dog. RIP to everyone that gets stuck in the nine to five cycle of life. I'm still young, I'm 25. I know what I'm doing. I'm setting my shit up. By the time I'm 30, if not before, we can be good. No more nine to fives. Enough of that. The last one we gonna end it up with, it's my boy Donkey. How Donkey looks to us, <laughs> what Dragon sees when she looks at Donkey. Damn, bro, them jaw exercises really be doing it. And that beard, okay. Uh, that's Daddy Donkey to you, Miss Dragon, Daddy Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's it for the first meme masterclass. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these. Had a little giggle, had a little laugh. <sighs> Shrek is life, Shrek is love. Shout out to Donkey. <clears throat> Stay blessed, don't stress. Be grateful, not hateful. Till next time, we out. Much love, guys.